one of the most clever people I know. Forbes magazine rated him the number five social media influencer in the world and number one here in Australia in his area of expertise. So this is what computer games looked like when I was growing up. This is my partner Nikki's 14 year old son Josh. He's the one on the left. <laughs> this is what computer games look like now on his Xbox. And the thing is, there are many leaders and business owners for pong thinkers in an Xbox world. One hospital in California has a system called Baby Time. And this is for mothers who have given birth and their babies have to be taken away to the neonate ward. As you can imagine, it's one of the most heart-wrenching experiences for a new mother who wants to spend all their time with their baby. They know they can't, but they want to. And so what they've done here in this hospital is they have a pair of iPads. One in the room with the mum and the other one in the neonatal ward with the baby. What if I told you that I recently came face to face with the future in a very unexpected way when I made a journey into my past? I recently went on a holiday to Sri Lanka, it's the country where I was born, but I hadn't been there for more than 30 years. Of course, it's quite an amazing experience. Sometimes I felt inspired, sometimes I felt crowded, sometimes I even felt tall. <laughs> In a few years, we'll be able to send people to other planets. Can you see a show of hands who'd like to get in a spaceship and go to another planet? Okay, actually more than I expected. We can think of somebody else who'd like to put on a spaceship and send to another planet. Okay, all right. You didn't have to point to them. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of crystal ball gazing today. And as we do this, just keep an open mind because things are changing so fast, you never know what's just around the corner. Uh, this is my niece, Abby. She turned 10 last month. Just think about the world that Abby was born into. 10 years ago, there was no YouTube. There was no social media. We weren't all walking around with a street directory in our pockets, or a camera, or a whole library. And I hope that when you look at our fast-changing world and technology and social media, that you look at it with a curious mind like Riley does. It is amazing and sometimes it can look like magic. Here are these kids who don't have access to a school anywhere nearby and yet they can still get the education. And now of course we call it e-learning or virtual learning or online learning. But we invented it here in Australia almost a hundred years ago. Alright, so we have this German dude. He lived 300 years ago wrote a lot of music and most of it's forgotten and yet every day it touches the hearts and minds and souls of hundreds and thousands of people. So here's my question five for you. How will the world remember you 300 years from now?